I am Rose and welcome back to a new video. So I got a request to show my curly hair routine and how I do my hair when it's curly. I realized I never wear my hair curly anymore. Either I wear it straight when I'm going out or I throw it up in a bun when it's curly. I think I realized that I don't feel attractive when my hair is curly for some reason. I guess it makes me feel young, I don't know. So I'm trying to find styles that I like for my curly hair. And I think it's good to appreciate what you have you know so i'm trying to love my curly hair more i've been doing a routine that i've really been liking how my hair turns out when i do it so i filmed it and that is what i am going to be showing you today so the first thing that i'm going to show you is what i do when i feel like my hair is kind of dry and it just needs a mask it's a hair mask that you can get from the drugstore i think it's called nex nexus or nexus um the first step in my curly hair routine if i'm really taking very good care of my hair is to apply that mask and i usually let it sit and play a video game or watch a movie for like 30 minutes the next part i'm going to be showing you is what products i use in the shower and this is not sponsored at all i'm just showing you what works for my curly hair so hopefully if you're looking for something you can find you know a different shampoo or whatever that works for your hair too <laughs> So I really love the Aussie shampoo and conditioner that is for moisturizing and I also love the Neutrogena triple moisture shampoo and conditioner and then I also really like the Nexus conditioners. I really love the Aussie three minute miracle leave-in conditioner that is so great too. Those are some of the products that I have been loving. So if I do a hair mask I typically will rinse that out first and then use a shampoo and I actually get this asked a lot. Um, I only shampoo my hair twice or three times a week depending on how much I work out because if I wash my hair more than that, it gets very dry. Use a conditioner after that. I typically leave it in and shave my legs or do whatever else I need to do, but I do leave my conditioner in even if it's not a leave-in conditioner. Five to 10 minutes just because I really want my hair to be able to get all of that moisture. And then after that is the fun part. <laughs> So these are all the products that I have been loving to get frizz out of my hair. One of the first things that I've really been liking is the Frizz Ease. It's kind of like a gel and I just usually keep it on the ends of my hair because it is kind of... I don't want to say greasy, but if I put it on my roots, it definitely is like too much oil on the top of my hair. So I only keep it on the bottoms for frizz. Another product I like is a mousse from Herbal Essences. I've been using it for a really long time. I think I originally picked it for the smell. I really, really love how it makes my hair turn out, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like it helps define my hair. It smells really good, too. Another thing I really, really love is Airbnb from Lush. It's kind of like a wax. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of waxy, and but it's very moisturizing. Like, as soon as you put it on your hair, it's just like smooth and like really pretty curls. So I have really been liking that as well. I also have peppermint oil that I just spray like on the ends of my hair. That's purely for smell. I love smelling like peppermint. Also, I'm a teacher and I don't want to get lice. So <laughs> that's kind of gross, but that's part of my routine. So, um, and then the last thing is Moroccan oil or argan oil. I, again, I put this in my ends so that they don't look frizzy. And I am actually going to voice over the clip that I filmed of me actually doing my hair. Um, so I will roll that now. Okay, so as you can see, first I am just towel drying my hair and I'm being very careful to keep it smooth and then I'm brushing my hair with a wide tooth comb so that I can keep my curls as defined as possible. Then I'm using that mousse and kind of just scrunching my hair and then only on the ends I'm taking a gel because my ends look the frizziest usually and I'm just putting some peppermint oil in my hair and then argan oil and then I am kind of just taking the R&B wax stuff on the roots of my hair and kind of just smoothing out and kind of reshaping some of the curls that got frizzy with my finger. This is how my hair looks when I'm done and I just go to bed after that. I just lay on my pillow like normal and when I wake up my hair is super curly. Just some like extra tips. Whenever I do my hair curly I try to use the least amount of heat as possible so if I wake up even like right now my hair is kind of frizzy so if I wake up in the morning on like second day hair sometimes my hair won't my curls won't be as defined i will mix water and like hair mousse together and just kind of scrunch my hair up again in the morning and that kind of helps it from being 
so frizzy i have found also um using a wide tooth comb when you brush your hair is a game changer and um brushing your hair out and then like re-wetting it helps to define the curls more and make it less frizzy i found i shower at night and i go to bed with my hair wet and then i wake up the next day and usually my hair is fine and good and dandy I feel like this was a really short video and i don't really know how much this helped but uh, i mean that is really how i do my curly hair i mean i guess i'm lucky because my hair does the work for me because it's naturally curly. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about curly hair that I could help you with, make sure you leave them down below and I will definitely answer them. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video and watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <music>